Welcome to this special edition of Mr. Positive Live, your home for positive talk. We're doing a special edition of Mr. Positive Live product reviews tonight here on Mr. Positive Live. We do videos on budget smartphones because, you know, not everybody wants to go on a two-year contract to pay off an iPhone 13 or get the latest Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra or go out there and spend over $1,000 on a smartphone. Not everybody has that kind of budget or the, that kind of credit to go out there and just splurge on the most expensive smartphones. Okay, don't get me wrong. You know, if you have good credit, if you don't mind, you know, spending money on a two-year contract with AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile, Sprint, be my guess. Um, but I'm not one for that. I'd rather buy my phone outright and just own it for the two or three years until the thing dies, okay? We're here to save you some money for those budget consumers out there who don't want to go out and spend boatloads on a smartphone, okay? Especially when you're just going to update it within a year or two. On average, most smartphones are good for up to two or three years. So let's say you buy an iPhone, a new iPhone now. iPhone support, Apple supports their phones for at least six years. I think the iPhone 6S got support until last year. Now they're finally not supporting it as much. Now Apple is still supporting the iPhone 6S and 7 with just security updates. But as far as iOS uh, updates, they pretty much stopped with the 6S. So if you have an iPhone 6S, should you upgrade? Yeah. But if you are someone with an iPhone 7 and up, I don't know if it's time to. If you're someone with an older Android phone, say like a Google Pixel 2a, or the, I mean the Google Pixel 2, or the Google Pixel 3a, I, you know, if you have the 3a, I wouldn't upgrade because it's not that big of a gap from the 4a. Um, if you're coming from an older Android phone, if you're coming from a flip phone, yeah. But it depends. Not every consumer wants a you know, not every consumer wants a smartphone. Some consumers want a flip phone. Like we did that review on the TCL Flip or the Go Flip. Today, we're covering a phone quite similar to, it's related to TCL. And TCL makes awesome smartphones. Now, TCL is kind of new in the smartphone market, maybe the last five years or so. You know, they are kind of new in the smartphone. They're known for their TVs, computer monitors, and things of that nature. Um, but this is an awesome phone, and you can actually get it unlocked on Boost Mobile, Cricket Wireless, AT&T Go, uh, Verizon's prepaid service. This is a really good offer, okay? This is the TCL 20XE, okay? So basically what it is, it is a budget smartphone, okay? The phone comes with a 6.52 inch HD plus display, comes with a 13 megapixel camera, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and you get an 18 watt fast charger included in the box, okay? Um, I'm gonna go over some of the, more of the specs here in just a few minutes. I wanna kinda give you an idea what it looks like, okay? Really good phone, nice looking device. You may not be able to tell with my fuzzy cameras, but it does have, um, it does have three cameras in the back. Okay, so it has a primary 13 megapixel camera. That's the main camera. And uh, it comes with a two megapixel micro, uh, micro camera on the rear uh, and a two megapixel um, wide lens. Uh, you also have the front facing camera, which is an, uh, I believe it's a five megapixel uh, selfie camera. Now it does record up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Um, it does have a uh, screen resolution of 720p um so therefore you're not getting like ultra 4k or or you know upgraded specs to 1080p but again you're paying again this phone retails roughly around uh anywhere from 50 dollars all the way up to 120 dollars okay i've seen it retailed on verizon for like 125 bucks it depends on the carrier okay um I'm gonna get more into the specs. So the um, it's a it's an awesome it's an awesome device. Uh, the X20 or the 20XE was released back in November of 2021, 
It does have a 6.52 inch HD plus V notch display with next vision uh, visual enhancement. So basically that's um, TCL's basically um, screen technology. Okay, that's what they use in their TVs. Uh, the next vision uh, or NXT vision visual enhancement helps bring colors out brings out those black colors and really makes the screen pop even though it's 720p you really wouldn't be able to notice it it's actually a really nice display i mean from this uh you know kind of bad laptop you can't really tell but it is a nice display um very colorful easy to use has a massive 500,000 milliamp hour battery okay uh, and that's la that can last all day. You almost don't have to charge it for at least two to three days. Uh, the TCL Smart Manager for power optimization. So if you want to go longer, you want to have a, you want to go four days, it works with smooth performance with a two with a two point get with a two point oh gigahertz octa core processor, three gigabytes of RAM. Um, you know, that's plenty of memory. You get up to 32 gigabytes of storage. You can expand that storage to 512 gigabytes with a micro SD card, which is sold separately. Um, you get a 13 megapixel AI triple camera with two megapixel micro lens, like I said, and a two megapixel death lens. Uh, it charges up to USB type C, which is the latest technology in charging. This, this phone does not have wireless charging. It has an 18? It comes with an 18 watt charger on board, um, and it has a fingerprint scanner, a uh, fingerprint sensor, I should say, in the back. I can show you what that looks like here. That is the fingerprint scanner there in the middle. It unlocks your phone fairly fast, as you can see here. Let me just uh, it unlock it pretty quick. See right there. So it unlocks it fairly fast. And you'll get a quick guide. It comes in moonlight gray. That's the only color it really does come in. And uh, again, you're going to you're going to experience again, enjoy vivid cinematic experience on the go with the TCL 20XE featuring a expansive 6.52 inch display. It is big with a V notch display powered by the uh, NXT Vision technology. With that massive 500,000 milliamp hour battery, uh, it lets you go all day, charge up quickly with an 18 watt fast charger and a 13 megapixel AI powered triple camera it will inspire you to create and share all kinds of cool things. Maybe going hiking, doing some outdoor stuff. I took some pictures um, with it and it actually isn't too bad for the um, size of the phone. Um, you know, you're not going to win any photo contest with this phone. Um, it's not going to win an award. It's not an iPhone. It's definitely not a Samsung Galaxy phone. Um, it fits comfortably in your hand and uh, has a fingerprint scanner. So that's important for a phone that price. You know, you got a 6.52 inch display, enhanced visual power by NXT Vision, delivers cinematic views with all your media. If it's YouTube, Netflix, um, no HDR, HDR 10 on this or anything like that. But again, for what you're getting, it has the, the blacks, the colors, they pop big time, uh, very vivid. Uh, it really pops with this um, with this display. Uh, you get uh, you know real-time SDR and HDR enhancement with the camera. Uh, you can get the NXT Vision, which helps with true colors and the next level visual experience. It's easy on the eyes. Um, you know, it has a night vision, night mode on it, so you don't have to look at the blue screen in the background. So it helps when you're trying to read, like, documents, or maybe you're reading, you know, a website or something like that. It helps. Maybe you read audiobooks. Uh, you know, maybe you read. A lot of people use a phone for, you know, e-reading and stuff like that. You can multitask. It does have a MediaTek uh, H-Hilo 22 processor, which is a 2 gigahertz processor. Uh, you know, again, it also has Google Play on it, and it's powered by Android 11. Uh, so, again, you're getting all the latest updates, latest security updates. For the price, I got mine on the Boost Mobile Network. Um, I just wanted people to understand that these phones, even though they're budget-level phones, they're just as good as 
going out and buying a five, six, seven hundred dollar smartphone. Now, are you going to get the same technology? Are you going to get the same build quality? Is this, you know, IP, you know, IP seven, you know, is it's made for outdoor use? No. Obviously, you have to go get a case. But if you're someone who's on a budget. If you have a college kid who's going back to school this fall, if you got a high school student, uh, if you know someone who's older, it's good for someone who's on a budget and just wants a phone that gets the job done. You can still game on this thing. We've we've tested some gaming on it. This isn't the full review. We'll have a full review coming up soon. Uh, again, it's a really good smartphone. I have another one we're going to look at too. That is the Samsung Galaxy A03s. Now, the Samsung, Ga Samsung Galaxy A03s came out around the same time as the TCL um, 20XE, okay? Um, and that's it's got similar technology. It's going to have similar specs. It still has a 6.5-inch uh, display. Uh, let me grab that phone, by the way, for a minute. So this phone here has some really decent specs on it. Uh, again, this is the Samsung Galaxy um, A03s, and it comes with three camera, uh, three rear cameras in the back, and you get a eight megapixel camera on the front. So it's a decent phone. You're getting um, Android 11 on board with this. Uh, you have NFC. Uh, you do have the latest from Android. Um, you know, and Samsung gives you a pretty good thing with their Samsung UI on board. I'm going to read more of the specs here from Samsung's website here. Um, again, you're getting a, a decent smartphone with a 2.3 gigahertz, 1.8 gigahertz. So there's two processors. You get a 2.3 gigahertz CPU with a 1.8 gigahertz. So that's the second processor. This comes with the MediaTek Hilo 32 processor uh, with 3 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, that might not sound like a lot because if you're going for like a uh, you know a flagship smartphone, sometimes those have eight to twelve gigabytes of RAM and even more than that. Um, you know, this is not for those. This this these kind of phones are not for people who are you know looking for the best in a smartphone. There is no wireless charging on this. This is for those who are just looking for a phone that will get the job done. Um, you know, you can still game on this phone. You can still do all your Facebook stuff. Um, it's a good smartphone, okay? Uh, getting into the specs, it's unlocked. It's on all major carriers here in the United States, T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, um, you know, even Sprint. The CPU processor is an octa-core processor. Again, the, the CPU speeds are 2.3 gigahertz and 1.8 gigahertz. So decent speeds, not bad at all. The main display is a resolution of 720 by 1600. That's HD plus. That's 720p. Um, again, that doesn't sound very good in 2022. But again, you got to take in, for instance, that this phone costs 70 bucks. Okay, you walk into your Walmart, you don't have to worry about walking out paying 800 bucks or going on a two-year contract just to get the better phone. Okay, um, this phone is not that bad. Okay, uh, it really is a decent phone. Even though it has that 720p display, um, you know, it's not Super AMOLED or anything like that. It is a TFT panel. It's, an L it's a TFT LCD technology. And uh, again, you're going to get decent specs on board. With the 2.3 gigahertz processor, you can do minimum gaming. You can run most games at, you know, low settings. Uh, you can probably play Call of Duty on there. You can probably play some, you know, Fortnite. On your phone but it will kill the battery okay um, again this phone has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery similar to the TCL again specs between the two are fairly close in processing speeds the Samsung's a little bit faster um, but again it ain't gonna matter really because if you're just using it for main if you're just using it mainly for Facebook and Instagram and just your usual apps you're not going to notice any difference in screen resolution or anything else. Um, we're going to talk about the cameras now on board. This phone does have some good cameras on board. You do get a, um, again, the front camera is a 8 megapixel camera. 
And your rear cameras are a 13 megapixel camera, a 2 megapixel uh, camera, and a 2 megapixel. Uh, so you get the you get a micro camera that's 2 megapixel, and then you get a 2 megapixel wide lens camera. So you can get a lot in for a small phone. Now, is this going to be 108 megapixel like the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra? No. Um, is it going to have uh, you know HDR display? No. Uh, are you ex are you going to get uh, you know, 5G with this phone? No. Um, again, they do have a 5G variant of the A13. Uh, it's A13 5G. Um, but again, you have to spend also another sixty dollars to get that. If you're just looking for a you know bare bones smartphone that'll get the job done. Uh, that you can buy unlocked, you can use on US cellular, you can use on T-Mobile, Verizon. Take it to any other carrier and not pay the outrageous prices on contract, then go with a Samsung Galaxy A03s. It's a really decent smartphone. And you know, you're not gonna break the bank. Okay, you're not gonna break the bank. I spent $70 on this phone, runs great, runs perfectly. Um, you know, it you obviously got to buy a case. There's no water resistance to this phone. Um, you know, unless you're an outdoor person, if you do a lot of camping, like today, it's pouring outside, um, you're probably going to want to invest in a case. Um, maybe there's waterproof cases out there. If you're someone who's outdoors all the time, this probably ain't the phone for you, basically. But if you don't care and you just want a phone that takes basic pictures, basic phone use, and you ain't going to have to spend thousand bucks on the latest smartphones that's why i would suggest the samsung galaxy a03s okay now this this phone can record in uh up to fhd uh which is full hd that's uh 1920 by 1080p at 30 frames per second no 4k recording in this phone uh there is a main camera with a flash you do have a main camera with autofocus there is also um front facing camera which is f2.2 that's the resolution. Main camera, uh, the, 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 the cameras on the rear are F2.2, uh, uh, also F2.4 and F2.4. Both of those two micro, micro, uh, megapixel cameras are both two, uh, F2.4 on both. So just be aware of that. Your eternal memory is 32 gigabytes of onboard storage. You can also get a 64 gigabyte model of that phone. There's available storage after software if you have the 32 gig model that's eight that's 18.9 gigabytes. So it doesn't really leave you with a lot of storage. So be aware if you do buy the Samsung Galaxy phone or the TCL, you will have to ex you will have to invest in a micro SD card, which you can hold up to one terabyte. Okay, that's pretty good. Micro SD cards up to one terabyte. There is three gigabytes of RAM. That doesn't seem like a lot, but coming from last year when they were still releasing phones, one gigabyte of RAM or two, that's a big step up. Um, it does run on the 2G and GSM networks. I think 2G is being out, is being is going to be stopped soon. It does have 3G as well. 4G LTE is the highest it goes. <clears throat> you know, connection. Uh, the USB connectivity is 2.0. It has Bluetooth 5.0. Um, let's see here has a three it's got a 3.5 millimeter stereo uh, it's got a headphone jack on the bottom which is good to see on a budget smartphone you do get a headphone jack a lot of times Samsung and Apple and LG and TCL on the higher end phones have actually removed the um, have removed those devices have removed a headphone jack because they want wireless headphone jack so you can also sync this with your pc with smart switch in the pc version uh, there's also a usb interface for type c um, you have your android 11 on board you do have a touch you do have a uh, fingerprint scanner on here you can unlock your phone you can also use face detection so that's pretty cool um, again, it has a typical 5,000 mAh battery, audio playing back format is 3, it has MP3s, MP4s, 3GAs, AAC, so it does a boatload of media files, uh, it plays back video playing format, uh, MP4, MP4V, uh, 3P, uh, 3GP, uh, and 362 uh, files, so if you are interested in that, it's also compatible with uh, Samsung Gear. Uh, products like the uh, Galaxy Buds,
Galaxy Buds Pro, uh, Galaxy Watches. So it syncs. It also has um, also has NFC on board. So if you use uh, you know Samsung Pay or Apple Pay, it does do those apps as well. So it's pretty cool. You can go through your grocery store line and just scan and boom, you're good to go. Uh, the TCL does not have NFC. Just be aware, if you buy any of these smartphones, you are going to have to buy a case that is comparable. If you buy a $1,000 smartphone, you still got to buy a case. Um, I always tell people, when you buy a smartphone, make sure it comes with a case. Um, you never want to buy a smartphone. Now, what are the good deals that you're going to get when you get these phones? Okay, so right now, Metro by T-Mobile, uh, which you can get the TCL right now if you port in your phone number. Uh, this is a good deal. If you port in your phone number right now, you can get the TCL uh, 20XE for free. All you do is port in your phone number, depending on what carrier you're coming from, Verizon, AT&T. Um, it can't be T-Mobile because they're linked to T-Mobile or Boost Mobile, so you can only port in through uh, Cricket Wireless or AT&T or Verizon or Sprint. I actually know Sprint is part of um, T-Mobile now, so you can only port in through uh, a CDMA carrier, okay, which is Sprint, uh, not Sprint, um, which would be um, which would be Verizon or uh, Boost Mobile, okay. Um, Boost Mobile's ran through the, the Dish network service, which is CDMA. Again, you know, you can get good deals if you really go online, do your research on your carrier areas. You also want to do your research on, um, you know, your coverage areas because um, the thing with Metro by T-Mobile is they have good service if you live in the southern Maine area. So let's say you live in Maine, okay? The coverage area for a lot of, uh, you know, for a lot of AT&T services, but especially on the T-Mobile side, isn't as strong as it is on AT&T. So if you're switching over to the T-Mobile network, you're going to have some really spotty coverage depending if you're north of Lewiston, Auburn, south towards Portland, you'll have good service. Get up into the mountains, you're roaming, okay? And that would go for any of your, you know. And a lot of times you go to these, you know, you go to these contract carriers, they're going to tell you that there's service all over the place. When you really do some digging, you're getting the same service you would on, and, and a lot of companies like U.S. Cellular, if you go to contract end of it, they're going to tell you that the uh, prepaid end is not as good as the uh, contract side, and that's not true. It's false information. It's actually a scam. Um, you're getting the same services if you went with Verizon prepaid or Verizon's contract side. Sometimes these salespeople will tell you to go with the contract side so they can get a sale. So that way they can make a commission off you. Um, the services are the same. The Verizon network is the same across the board. Same with U.S. Cellular. Um, you know, uh, U.S. Cellular will, is, I've done it before. Um, you know, I've gone in. I asked them. I just asked them questions. I act like a regular consumer. And they'll tell you, no, the services are different, but it's not true. Um, now, if you're on contract, you will get some added bonuses, um, you know, like bonuses towards, you know, smartphones that you want, the higher-end smartphones like your Samsung Galaxy, you know, a, uh, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultras or the 21 Ultra or your iPhone 13s and the iPhone 14, which is coming soon. Um, you're going to get those upgrades. Some companies like AT&T, you can do it within a year and upgrade your phone. But again, you have to have really good credit because if you don't have good credit, and most people know this, you got to pay a deposit. Okay. Um, and I hate to see people get screwed over by these cellular companies saying that you don't have to put anything down. Um, I went to T-Mobile and uh, you read the small print, you have to pay a deposit down front. And um, if your credit's you know, pathetic, uh, you're looking at maybe up to an $800 deposit, $500 deposit was, my deposit was about $450, okay, and uh, that's quite a bit to just get an iPhone, okay, now they do have the iPhone SE 2022 edition, which is basically, if you know the iPhone 8, um, it's basically that same form factor, it has the updated uh, A14 Bionic chip, uh, it's it's a it's a solid piece of a smartphone. Uh, you're getting pretty much updated specs upwards to the iPhone 12 
uh, phones and iPhone 13 phones. Actually, it's the same process as iPhone 13, but the same camera as the iPhone 11. So you're getting really solid specs. If you're looking to save some money, go with a budget smartphone. Don't listen to these carriers telling you you got to go with the most expensive phone. If you're tired of spending, uh, you know, two hundred dollars on your monthly phone bill, uh, roaming chargers, hidden chargers, hidden fees. Spectrum Mobile is known for doing this. Uh, you know, charging. Oh, you don't have to charge. They charge you. Okay. Uh, you know, again, now if you have Spectrum Cable, then you'll get Spectrum Internet and a discount on the Spectrum service. Spectrum Phone is good. If you get the Spectrum, uh, you know, mobile, but you have to have the cable to get that deal. If you don't have that deal, uh, I have a friend of mine that was paying $15 a month. I don't know if that's that now or $25 a month now. But she was paying $15 a month. and uh, you know, But you have to have cable to do that. That's a discount you get. If you don't have cable, you're paying a full $35, $40, or $50 on top of your month. Now, the thing with their Spectrum deal is you only get a 1 gig of RAM. Okay, So you're going to eat that up pretty fast. Okay. Um, don't get suckered into free 5G either. 5G is not really that big right now, unless you live in metro areas like Boston, uh, Portland, Maine area, uh, larger metropolitan areas to the south. Um, if you live in northern parts of the state, you're not getting no 5G. Bangor doesn't have 5G. Lewis and Auburn doesn't have real 5G. So if your phone is saying you have 5G, that's a lie. Uh, most phones right now in central and southern Maine Southern Maine, you might have some 5G, but you get up into like Androscoggin County, up towards Augusta, it's majority mostly 4G LTE. So your phone's giving you a uh, fake 5G uh, pickup. So be aware of that. 5G really still is kind of new to the area. Uh, now if you go down into, say, southern New Hampshire, down around Manchester, down around Nashua, uh, central part of New Hampshire, Hillsborough County, New Hampshire, you'll get decent phone coverage then. Um, Boston metropolitan area, 5G coverage. Uh, larger cities like Providence, Rhode Island, uh, over to Worcester, Springfield, Mass. You're going to get 5G. Uh, it's just still kind of being, uh, you know, it's still being um, released here in the state of Maine. Uh, Portland area does have some 5G. You get up around the Gray and the Turnpike area, you will get some 5G. But once you get north of, say, uh, Gray, Lewiston, and Auburn, it's not real 5G. Just, just, just be aware of that. If you are on U.S. Cellular uh, and it says 5G, that's not real 5G yet. Um, that is your network picking up on uh, maybe some weak 5G wireless because some wireless locations do or businesses have 5G in the area, but your phone is really reading 4G LTE. So your phone's basically lying to you saying it's picking up 5G when it's really not. Okay, I just want, I want consumers to understand that 5G is still quite new and, you know, I'm not saying it's a lie, but it's still quite new and a lot of areas in Maine do not have 5G. And when your phone does say 5G, it's not real 5G. Trust me. Um, you know, some locations are starting to come out in, in Japan and China, 6G. So they're starting to roll out. And Maine's about five or ten years behind in technology when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, within the next two to three years, 5G will become more known. Uh, I know when 4G LTE started coming into the state of Maine, uh, here in the Lewis and Auburn area, we were still getting 3G networks, but our phones would say 4G LTE, but that wasn't the real 4G LTE. We didn't actually start getting real 4G, uh, 4G LTE speeds until about um, 2013. So again, about nine to 10 years behind uh, on technology. So if you're interested in purchasing one of these smartphones, TCL 20 XE is a great budget phone that retails anywhere from $50 to $110. That depends on the company you go through, depends on the carrier you go through. Uh, some companies do have some uh, you know, deals like Cricket Wireless, port in your number, phones free. Same with Metro by T-Mobile. Look at the small print first because sometimes with Metro by T-Mobile, you got to do a mail-in rebate. That's another scam. Don't do it. Go to Cricket, no mail-in rebate. Go to Boost. No mail-in rebate. TC, um, one of the things with Metro by T-Mobile, a lot of times if you want to get these phones, you got to pay the upfront cost, then you'll get that mail-in rebate, which I feel is a rip-off. Um, but, again, if you go to Cricket Wireless, you'll get the phone for free. So, always read the small print. But I did read the small print for Metro by T-Mobile, 
and you will get this phone for free for real you won't have to pay a mail-in rebate so that's why i'm just telling people um again if i had to choose on which phone to technically go for i'd probably go with the samsung smartphone um again the a03s is fairly common it's going to get updates for the next two years it's going to stay up to date with Android. Samsung will keep releasing updates, security updates for the next two to three years. Samsung's good on that. Google will also release security updates. TCL, on the other hand, they're kind of like ZTE. They're kind of like, um, you know, one of the smaller phone companies like Nokia. They'll update it for a year or so, then it might not get an update. Um, Blue is known. Blue is a phone company that's known for doing that as well. Uh, it's B-U-L, uh, B U L B U. BLU, if you're interested in what Blue does for products. Um, I don't even know if they make phones anymore, but I know we've done some reviews on Blue products in the past. Again, um, if you buy it through Boost Mobile, you will get a SIM card kit. It comes in like this. You get a package like this. When you take it out of the package, this is what it looks like. Um, again, keep the box because your um, ICC ID and your IMEI is in there. Uh, you want to make sure you keep that information if something happens when you try to activate your smartphone. So, some even when they buy um, when they buy phones that are unlocked, or if they buy phones through a prepaid carrier, that's usually what you have to do. Okay, so I can understand why people go through um, go through the uh, contract side because those experts that say AT and T or T Mobile will take care of it for you. Uh, when you buy it through Walmart, they'll take care of it for you too. But a lot of times, if you buy it in a box, it's something you have to do yourself. For Mr. Positive Live, I'm Mr. Positive. Hopefully, you learned something today about budget smartphones. It's better than going out and paying, um, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars on a smartphone that you're going to have to pay off over two years. Now, maybe you're someone out there who's working on building your credit, a younger adult, teenager, or something like that. That's understood. Sometimes contracts have their benefits, especially if you're trying to build credit. Uh, it's no worse than renting to own a uh, product or, or buying your car outright or renting, you know, rent, uh, making payments on a vehicle or something like that. You're building a credit um, portfolio, basically. So if you're interested, build contract. The only positive thing about contracts is you build credit. Um, and um, if you don't want to go through that route and rather pay cash outright, buy your phone outright because you'll save a lot more money in the long run. Now you might pay more up front uh, when you buy the phone outright, but you're not spending. Again, that's why I'm trying to tell people if you're interested, buy a prepaid phone, go through an unlocked carrier like TCL. Uh, Samsung has great budget to mid-range smartphones that are just as good as their flagship counterparts. Don't spend money you don't need to. For Mr. Positive Live, I'm Mr. Positive. Have a great night.